This is Twit. He is our favorite home theater guru, Scott Wilkinson, home theater geek, contributor at TechHive.com, and a regular weekly visitor to our show. Hello, Scott. Hey, Leo. Always happy to be here. Great to see you. What's up in the home theater world? Oh, well, I wanted to uh, hip you to uh, a new article that I just uh, posted last week on Projector Central. TechHive is my main home, but I also write elsewhere, and... Projector Central is one of them. Okay, what'd you write about? So I wrote about HDR, high dynamic range, yeah. on projectors. Now, projectors, uh, on, on a flat panel TV, like an OLED or an LCD, high dynamic range is pretty easy because they can get very bright and they can get really dark. Right. So the difference between them is great and so you have high dynamic range. Right. On a projector, it's much more difficult because they don't get that bright. We actually were talking about this on the show last week about projectors. There are not many 4K projectors, and I didn't even know there were any. Actually, there are quite a, quite a few. But they're expensive 4K. now, right? Well, no. no? Uh, and in terms of 4K projectors, uh, Texas Instruments, uh, well, a lot of... So they now have a 4K DLP out there? Is that well, it? sort of. It's this is very interesting, actually. It's I'm a, sorry, I distracted you. Go ahead. It, <laughs> it's a DLP chip. Yeah. And it basically reproduces a quarter of a 4K display at a time. And it it zooms around and dis, uh, basically it's it's interleaved in a sense. Uh it it displays so this quarter. So this quarter quadrant, and then this quadrant, and then this quadrant. That's kind of what quadrant. I was saying. Is it's it's faux K. It's what we call faux K. Yeah, yes, exactly yeah. right. Now HDR, now, I didn't even realize that that were even close because, as you point out, projectors just are not as bright as direct view monitors. Not by any means. They, you know, you're lucky if you can get a hundred nits uh, out of a on a off of a screen from a projector. Uh, LCD TVs are easily a thousand nits, right. so ten times as bright. Right. O OLEDs are getting there to, to roughly that same level as well these days. So projectors are, are a tenth of that brightness. Well, what and do we do, Scott? What will we do? <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> well, that's what this article is all about. It's about optimizing your projector for HDR. Because a lot of projectors now do offer the ability to accept an HDR signal. Yes. And when they accept the HDR signal, what do they do with it? <laughs> because the HDR signal, uh, the HDR content was mastered at uh, Sony or Disney or one of the studios uh, at 1,000 nits or 2,000 nits or even 4,000 nits. And so what, what do you nits do? Nits are a me measure of brightness. I measure of brightness, yeah. yes. Thank you. Um, and so what do you do when, you're, when your display can only do 100 nits? Well, you have to make some decisions about how you're going to roll off the bright, the bright end of the spectrum. Because you're going to have to roll it off pretty severely. You're going to have to limit it because it can't get anywhere near 1,000 nits. Yeah. So you either roll it off so that the bright parts still have detail in them, but then when you look at the most of the image, which is not near that top end, it's going to look very dim. Or you can set it so that your, your dim parts look good, but then your bright parts get, get what's called clipped, uh, and they look very flat and, and not very interesting. Now, so is this that, now going to be faux HDR, just like it's faux K? <laughs> you know, I hadn't, th I had never thought of that one before, but it's actually a good way to look at it. It's, it's, it's simulating it, is, it. It's sort of simulating HDR. But what does it correct. look like to your eye? Does it really look like you're there's some? Well, it depends on how you optimize the projector. And in this article, I go into not only optimizing the projector itself, but the room yeah. that you're in. The which darker is very the room, important. the better, right? Correct. 
Correct. Absolutely. Because really, HDR is the difference between the darkest and the brightest. So. Correct. And so the dark, the darker the room, that's like having in audio. It's like having a very low noise floor. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. So the the lower the noise floor, the more dynamic range you have in audio. The darker the room, the more dynamic range you have in video. So you optimize your room. You optimize your screen. You have to think about what kind of screen you're going to get. And then you need to think about optimizing the user controls. And finally, the last step is calling in a calibrator and having them do the calibration. And I actually, this article is basically an interview with three different very highly regarded calibrators. Uh. Uh, one in California, one in uh, Seattle, and one in New York. And uh, they talk about the fact that this is not easy. HDR on a projector is very, very difficult. Um, so for example, what most of them recommend that when you're calibrating the projector, you, when you calibrate for SDR, standard dynamic range, you set the peak level, the peak brightness level to about 50 nits. And then the HDR can go up to 100 nits. And that gives you a greater sense of pop of uh, you can see the difference. It's not going to hurt your eyes, but at least no, you'll, no. <laughs> at least you'll see a difference. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Um, and uh, so there, there are many things you can do to to optimize. But you're right; it is kind of faux HDR. It's not real HDR. In that, as I said before, the content was created with a peak brightness of like a thousand nits or more. Uh, you're, you're familiar with the movie The Meg was a recent movie that <laughs> see this know, is the thing i enjoy about you uh and and people like you you look at a movie not for whether it's a good movie the meg <laughs> not a you know a list film but no. but you're looking at it for its technical merits technical yes yes and in that way i'm a videophile like audiophiles and i was just talking about this the other day that audiophiles very often will will f oh this piece of music is great for yeah because it's got range. cannons or bells yes or, yeah. yes is mm -hmm. it yeah but is it a good piece of music no, well it's a terrible no. song <laughs> so the meg what does the meg have a lot of HDR footage it's, in it it was mastered at four thousand nits wow. It was mastered. It's and about it's not, a giant shark underwater. It's about a I giant remember. shark. Yeah. And I will, I will tell you as a, as an aside, I'm actually on the soundtrack of that movie. <laughs> you play the, <laughs> what do you play? I, the whale sounds? What do you? The, I play the conch shell trumpet. <laughs> you know, you've seen pictures of the South Sea yeah, Islanders yeah, yeah, yeah. blowing yeah, the conch shell yeah, trumpet. Yeah. Well, I'm a conch shell trumpet specialist. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. It's Somebody's like a shofar. If you can it's play like a, a ram's horn, you can play a conch. Or a vuvuzela. Or a vuvuzela. Exactly. Yes. So it's just blowing I'm, air I, through a thing. <laughs> that's right. So I'm, list, I'm listed in the union as playing conch shell trumpet. Wow. So I got a call from the composer saying, I need conch shell trumpet on my soundtrack, on my nice. score for the Meg. So I'm actually there. I now the want to watch the Meg. <laughs> but the reason people got projection screens, the reason I have a projector, I have one of those high sense short throws, right. is because of the size of the screen. It's over 100, right. it's 100 inches. Exactly, exactly. And so that's great for a big living room. A lot of people can see it or right. a, a but home theater. But if you're in a big living room with a lot of lights yeah, on and you're having a party, it. you're not going to see care. HDR anyway. anyway. You're not going to see yeah. the value of it. You really need a dark dark room you need the right screen and you need to optimize the controls in the projector to get the best possible hdr image you can get it's not going to be as good as a flat panel you have if to you went out and got a runco thirty thousand dollar laser projector <laughs> would it be able to live with the kinds they use in movie theaters would it would it be hdr nope no. Well, yes, it, it would be HDR, but a Dolby Cinema projector achieves 108 nits on the screen. Still not that bright. That's why your movie theater is dark. That's right. And it hurts when they turn on the lights. No. Scott Wilkinson <laughs> catches a article at projectorcentral.com. Very interesting. Very interesting. You know, I had never thought about calling it faux HDR before, but kind of actually, is. That kind of is. Yeah. That's, That's exactly fine. I didn't right. get a projector because I wanted the best picture. If I want the best picture, I go in the bedroom and watch the uh, LG OLED. Yeah. And it's a big difference. Oh, yeah. But but 
honestly, so we're watching Yellowstone, great TV show. It's mm. it probably isn't in HDR, but uh, let's see what it is something Might anyway. Be. Some something it's in HDR. Lots of HDR shows these days. 4K yeah, HDR. There are. So yeah. yes, I can see the difference. But honestly, sometimes it's we want to watch in the living room because it's a big screen. It's more of a movie theater experience. So exactly I don't right. And it's exactly interesting. Right. Movie theaters aren't that bright either. That's right. Even Dolby Cinema. I mean, a normal, a conventional movie theater, uh, you're talking about, uh, I think, 48 nits. That's amazing. Is, is so this brightness? guy called me and said, how, you know, how bright can a projector go? And I said, well, you don't have to. That's, you re that's the wrong question, really. You're not, you're not, that's, you know. So that's, he was saying. It depends not, on a lot of factors. Yeah. Yeah. It depends the screen, on the screen. Yeah. The size of the how screen. How much the screen's and the, reflecting and, the screen. and how far away yeah. from the screen and. Etc. Etc. Size of the screen and projectors yeah, exactly. just aren't as bright as direct. Uh, not nearly. No. Even a laser projector. Um, Lasers better though, right? I did. I yeah. Did, oh yeah. I did say get the laser. Yeah. 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 yeah that's true. Yeah. Um, now, J, you, going back to your question or your comment about 4K, JVC and Sony both offer native. 4K so images. they're starting to come out now. That's good. Oh yeah. yeah. They've been out for. Uh, Sony's been out for quite a number of years. Oh okay. And JVC is now starting to do that as well. So, so there are native 4K, but these DLP 4K uh, are actually pretty good because you know your eye, our human yeah. vision vision system, isn't that fast. You're far it's, away because it's such a big screen, right? And it's these fine. And, and it's going so quickly that it all fuses together yeah. into a beautiful picture. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, DLP has traditionally has very poor black levels very high black levels so it's not a a deep rich picture deep rich black which is you really want that that's JVC the biggest is, difference jvc is the king of black levels yeah i almost yeah. said really it's not hdr it's not 4k it's just the difference between a direct view screen and a projector is just correct you know that's that's noticeable that's, and again no, seriously noticeable yeah and time. again i don't mind i'm fine right because the advantage, as you say, is so important of a hundred inch screen or more. Uh, you know, you try to buy a hundred inch flat panel, it's Good gonna luck. cost you a lot of money. Although that's gonna change too with micro LED and so yep, forth. I think is. we're gonna be able to mm -hmm. get pretty big. I figured, yep. in fact, I told Lisa that I said, we're gonna keep the high sense until uh, a reasonably priced micro LED comes out. And then we'll, right. when we can get a hundred inch Micro LED will for something we can afford. Then we'll replace right. it, and that might be. Right. It might only be five years out. It might not be. It that might. Long. It might. Five yeah. years. I just saw an article just the other day about um, uh, micro LED kind of ramping up in scale. Yeah. Yeah. 